I have just done a painting with an amazing new colour scheme. Really beautiful pinks, purples and turquoise on a black base. Colours, the, the painting didn't turn out as I planned, but the colours were amazing. So I'm going to do another pour with exactly the same colours, but one of my pinwheel explosive Dutch pours um, on a hexagonal base um, to see what that will look like. I think it could look quite pretty. Um, so um, let's get started. So I've just covered the base with the black. I'm just dabbing any any little bits that have been missed at the edge. There's just a few. So the black I've used is Amsterdam, oh, what black is it? Um, Amsterdam Oxide Black. The paints I'm using for this pour, they're mixed, mixed to my Dutch pour consistency, which means they are mixed with flood flow troll and water. And I'll put the recipe in the description of this video. So base down. So the colours I'm using, I've got Pebio Iridescent Blue Green. I've got um, Amsterdam Ultramarine Violet Light. I've got Amsterdam Persian Rose. Um, uh, Pebio Studio Acrylic Silver. And Amsterdam Quinacridone Rose. So if I try and work out where the middle is. It's probably about there. So I'm going to just pour in some little curves. Um, Right, that's a lot of paint. I think that's too much paint. But now what I intend to do is just blow with my hairdryer from the middle out towards all the edges. So you'll see some of the colour, the solid colour, but you'll also get a lot of overlapping of the colour, which will hopefully create some pretty cells. very pleasantly surprised that actually worked a lot better than I was thinking I thought I had far too much paint on but actually you can still see the black it hasn't come out like my pinwheel but I think it's because there's just too many lines but I really quite like it so I'm just going to give it a minute because I can see cells are now appearing a lot of turquoise cells appearing I'm going to torch just in the centre. Really, really like it. The colours are beautiful. Really happy that you've still got quite a lot of black there, but it's not too much. It's really subtle and it just highlights the colours really well. The turquoise is the dominant colour in terms of the cells because the cells are just fab. And also silver, actually. Actually, you know, there are silver cells. You just don't notice them as much because they're not as bright. But look at that green and pink or blue and pink right next to each other with no muddying. It's like a long, just a long caterpillar of cells there. 
really really pretty i love the fact that in the center you don't have any of the black you've just got this wonderful um blend of the colors and i really really like it on this shape canvas i think it works so well on a hexagon really happy with this right i'll be back when it's dry so it's now dry. I'm really, really happy with it. I love the sort of symmetry of it. I quite like um, fluid art where it's abstract and it's a bit all over the place, but there is some sort of pattern or theme or, or symmetry to it. So you've got that. You've got the central sort of um, mess of colour in the centre. Not mess, that's not the right word. The central mix of colour. But then you've got this pattern, this sort of aerial pattern, radial pattern around the edge. Um, the cells are beautiful. The, it's that turquoise um, and silver, but especially that turquoise. The cells are absolutely beautiful. Um, it just really shows and highlights that it's the metallics, the iridescent colours mixed in a painting with the non-iridescent colours that cause the cells to um, appear. Um, something to do with the interaction of the paint um, and the cells just pop up. Um, the colours, I love. Love this on a black base. I'm not that familiar with black bases. I don't normally do them. I would normally do a light base, but the colors really stand out well um, on the black base. Um, and then the edges, I can show you the edges of the canvas. So I haven't done anything to the edges. I've just literally let the paint just fall over the edges, drip down. So that's really a feature of the painting as well, the edges. Great, thank you so much for watching. Um, please leave me a comment. I'd love to know what you think of this, of this style of painting, these colours. Um, let me know. Great, thanks for watching. Bye.